Alright, what's up guys? My name is Darnell, and first off, by the title of this video, you can probably guess, this video is not of the E36 M3, that's Matt's E36, and now you're going to be seeing this car a lot more on this channel, just because now I finally have my turbo stuff ready to go, but next week, the turbo should be going on, we're just going to basically do the injectors and everything first. Just to, uh, you know, save time. Alright, I'm going to give you guys a little walk around of the car. Really quick. It's a little bit shit there, but... <clears throat> Thank God that's actually coming off pretty soon. Because actually... We're taking off. <coughs> The exhaust right now. I'll try to get in there with the light. Alright, so yeah, now we're under the car. You can see the exhaust. It's pretty fucking shitty. That's where it came from. You can see where I scraped my exhaust a couple times. Alright, so that's about it for the outside. I forgot to mention it's on Yanaka Racing Coilovers. That's the last thing. That's about it. But I'm going to start it up. Let it warm up a little bit. It's open header right now. So it's going to sound so ricey. But yeah, I don't even care. up right now we'll let it warm up for like five more minutes five ten more minutes and I'll rev it oh yeah the PVC piping's kind of ghetto too <laughs> oh yeah while it's warming up I forgot to show you guys I also have this Katuma air and fuel ratios it's gonna come in handy for the turbo all right it's a little warmed up now so I'm gonna put the camera under. Listen. Alright, guys, so as you see, it sounds like a little fucking rice box, but I forgot we uh, put some WD 40 on this. On the uh, bolts, so you can, so they won't like sh break off in there when we take it off tomorrow, and kind of start smoking. So it scared me for a second, but it's all good. I forgot about that. We're gonna take off the exhaust manifold and everything tomorrow, and we'll probably get to the injectors. I'm not sure yet, but. My turbo and stuff, I still need, I'm still waiting on the uh, turbo, intercooler, and a wastegate to come in. And then we'll be set, that's around Monday, maybe Tuesday. So, hopefully we can get started then. Alright, so it's the next day, and I'm about to take my exhaust manifold off. I'm going to let my dad do it because I don't want to strip any of these bolts. I don't want to fuck any of that up. Alright, so I came out here to talk, but we have the heater on in there, so it's too loud. But this is the manifold that's going on, and this is the turbo that was going to go on the car, but instead we ordered a bigger and newer one, so that should be here, like I said, Monday or Tuesday.
about to test fit this song. So in the last clip you guys saw, uh, we test fitted the old turbo on and that didn't really fit because you guys saw that it was hitting about here. But then my wastegate came and I figured out that this is the wrong wastegate for this manifold. So uh, I got a new manifold now and that should be here on Wednesday. So that'll be in part two of this video. And, but for now, here's a little comparison of the old turbo versus the new turbo. Old, new, old turbo? New turbo. Garbage. Garbage. Not garbage. Not garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one's like a 40 trim or maybe a 50 trim turbo. And this is, this for sure is a 60 millimeter turbo. It's a TX6062. So what we did was we test fitted this turbo on once we got, once that came in and it fits, but we might need to take out the AC, but we don't know until we get the new headers. So we're not, we're not going to know exactly where it sits. Yeah, most likely the AC is coming out. It's not, it's not a big deal if it comes out, but it's always nice to have it. Boost over AC, buddy. <laughs> you can see how, how this intercooler looks on here. So use the jack. It's done. That's all you really have to do. Just jack it up and turn it on and it runs, you know? Yeah, it should be making about 30 pounds of boost right 30. Now. Yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> so that's going to be it for part one like i said the manifold is coming in on wednesday so hopefully we can start getting everything together by then i'm not sure exactly when the car is going to be up and running but i hope it's soon and yeah that's about it